I want you to think of a card, a playing card. Okay, right now? Right now, yeah. You have a playing card in your mind? Yes. Nice. It was very straight. You just went there for the card. And so just because of that, I am thinking it's very vivid and so is a picture card. Yes. And it's that you just did with your mind now. I'm thinking it's not a red card. It's not a red card. It's a black card. Yes? Yes. Black, black can be like a spade or a club. <laughs> you love, you're giving it away. You're giving it away. Right. Nakul is a magic performer and mind reader. The author of Smart Course in Magic, he converted his passion for magic into a profession. The Jack, Queen or King. You blink on the King, but I think you're trying to put me off. I think the card, and tell me if I'm right, is the Clubs, Queen of Clubs. <laughs> is it the Queen of Clubs? Yes. <laughs> It's often said that life would be quite bland without a little bit of magic. But how do you define magic? As children, when we were growing up, our imaginations were shaped by the idea that there was something out there that we did not fully understand. And I remember the, the first show I saw. The magician came on stage and from his pocket he sort of took out uh, one, two, three, four, five and six cards. And from those six cards, the magician many times uh, sort of took out one, two, three cards, threw them away. I don't know why it was always six and three, but what was fascinating for me was that he then showed that he had one, two, three, four, five, and six cards. I don't know about you, but I clapped. What was even more fascinating was that it, he didn't do this once, he did this twice, thrice, he did this so many times, each time just showing he had one, two, three, four, five, and six cards, and every single time taking out one, two, three cards, throwing them away, and still showing one, two, three, four, five, and six cards. Thank you. age five I was fascinated by this character called Mandrake the Magician uh, and Mandrake uh, essentially just gestures hypnotically and he can make anybody see what um, what he wants them to see and he was a crime fighter magician in that sense by age 15 uh, I had uh, started performing magic professionally um, for the next 10 odd years I did shows magic shows early 2000s was when I moved over from that to what I at that time looked on as psychological entertainment uh, would it be okay if I was thinking Mumbai it's very close would you would you accept that I'm so lucky I wrote Pune thank you this uh, this is 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 for uh, Mr. Sharma just for him thank you but uh, Manish since you've been you've been so wonderful I want to try something with you now clearly his thought was still there we could verify it and this is where you know the whole thing fits in with the winning partnership APC Snyder Electric thing because what I'm trying to do is establish a, a level of trust with you and if I all all I ask you is this Manish if I get it right if I get it right. Tell me yes. If I get it wrong, of course you, you call my bluff. This friend you're concentrating about or thinking about, um, um, has been somebody that you've known for a while. Uh, I, I would go to the extent of saying a childhood friend. No? no? Okay. Yes, 
short term name for this person? Not really. So, um, okay. Um, I'm going to go with this. I might be wrong. So I might, I might be absolutely wrong on this. So please remember, I got Puna. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Who is Rizwan? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Manish. Absolutely, sir. But can I, can, I, can, I, can I get knuckle in to say that since you read minds, oh. the point being made here is everything about the mind is not understood. Well, and therefore, there are areas of the mind that could help somebody get, get well or get better. So, Baka, I want to react to that. Um, for a believer, no proof is necessary. And for a disbeliever, no proof is enough. Yeah. Very, very right? Very, very, very yeah. But, so everybody has the right to believe, yeah. but we also have a right not to be fooled. I give you a chance to change your mind. <laughs> very, very sure? Okay. Now, I'm still asking you, do you want to change your mind? Nests and 50 nests and the birds that built them. Given a choice of top 100 books, you will choose Sharon Beale's wonderful 50 nests and the birds that built them. That's for you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. You have the two of clubs, sir. Would you drop that for me? You also have the three of clubs. Drop that for me, please. You, sir, have the four of clubs, if you would drop that for me. You have the five also. And the six. Uh, you have the seven. But the eight and nine are with you. Uh, the 10 is here, the jack is also with you, the queen is also with you, the king is here. Thank you. The mentalist uh, is a, until very recently, was uh, industry terminology within the circle of magic. For practitioners of a field or a genre of magic, we call mentalism. The word mentalism comes from early 40s, a cult that called themselves mentalists. Uh, which essentially believed that the mind is all-powerful. Today, what we see as, as mentalism or mentalists are essentially uh, people who perform one particular genre of magic or one type of, not really genre, one type of magic effect, which is the power of the mind, magic effects. Now, within that, uh, there could be mind over matter, telekinesis, there could be psychic energies, uh, various skill sets, superhuman powers and things like that. If it's at one, the card would be the seven of spades. If it's at two, the card would be the five of spades. If it's at three, it would be the ten of hearts. If it's at four, it would be the ace of hearts. Doesn't matter. You say, you chose the queen of clubs and you chose the number Seven. So we are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if you had gone one number under, you would have hit the six of diamonds. If you had gone one number more, you would have hit the nine of hearts. All good till now. Now remember, a person from the audience has walked on, one of you, chosen a random card, chosen a random number and if this works it is a godsend miracle if not you know who to blame for it <laughs> and she took like seven minutes of my time <sighs> for queen of clubs the seventh card queen of clubs seventh card that's for you thank you very much Tarang. thanks for making my miracle happen thank you a big round of applause for her and thank you so much for being part of my story.